guys, it's Brittany, and today's video, I know I said I was going to do a Tarte video, but I have been hauling a lot, and I haven't done a haul video on my channel in forever, so I thought I would go ahead and do this haul video so you can see previews of what's coming up on my blog and my YouTube channel, which you're watching right now. The title of this video is a high-end haul, but I did pick up a few things from the drugstore, not a lot, so I thought I would get started with those. The first things I picked up are four of the new lip colors from Milani, and you've seen a lot of these already all over YouTube and on blogs, and I have this one. This is a Violet Addict, and this is Lip Intense Lip Color, and it looks like this. Uh, my blog post about these should be going up on Tuesday, which is the same day that this video is being uploaded, so I'll leave a link down, that down there below for you to go check it out. And I also got in the Lip Intense Liquid Color Pink Rave, and I'll just swatch this one for fun right here. Look how pretty Pink Rave is. Um, I really, really like these Lip Intense ones, and I got two of these Milani Power Lips, and these kind of have, you know, the click pen type thing, which is not, you know, my favorite thing in the whole wide world, but that is what this one looks like, and this is in Cabaret Blend, and this is a coral one, which I am actually not wearing, but it would go great with my lipstick right now, and this is in Mango Tango. Another thing I got from the drugstore, which was, it was on sale last week at Walgreens, I tweeted about it, um, this is one of the at-home gel nails kits, Oh, the cord's getting caught everywhere, and this is by Sensation Nail, and it's really, really awesome, I've used it twice, and your nails seriously don't chip, I'm giving them a break right now, but it's seriously amazing, and I really like it, um, this is usually about $60 I think at the drugstore, but when I got it, it was on sale for $39. I posted pictures on my Instagram if you want to see my nail creations with these. My final affordable, <laughs> I spent so much money in these hauls. My final affordable products are actually lip balms that I picked up from Sephora. These were, one of them was $6 and one of them was $8. And the $6 one is this Smith's Rosebud Salve in the tube. I used to use this all the time back in high school and it was in the, the little tin, and I hate that because the tin gets nasty the farther you get down into it. So I really love this one, and my lips have been needing a little bit more TLC because of the dry air and things like that. So I keep this one by my bedside, and for every day I heard a lot about this. This is the Jack Black Intense Lip Therapy Lip Balm Skin Protected Broad, Suns Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. And this is in Grapefruit Ginger, and SPF is 25, and I really like this. It gives your lips a little bit of a tingle, and it just tastes so good, and your lips are so moisturized. In my last video, I mentioned a lot about some of the things I picked up from Tarte, and it was a today's special value, and here's everything I got. So let me start from the top. So the first thing I got was this Tarte CC Color Clay CC Primer. And this is in the color Deep. This is the darkest shade they go. This actually works on my skin. It is slightly dark for me once I use it, but I'll be demonstrating this in a full demo and tutorial. That will be my next video. You can mark my words on it. I will be showing you how to use this. I know I've seen a lot of um, questions about this to Tarte and on YouTube in general that people didn't quite know what to do with this. So. I will review that. Next, I have the set. This all came in a set that was a Today's Special Value at QVC, and it came with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, um, and oh, it came with a colored clay eyeliner that I left in my vanity, but I'm in the video roll and I'm not going to get it, so not picture. It came with this brush, this foundation brush here, it's a little misshapen, there you go, and that is to use with this pretty a little compact of liquid foundation. It looks like a powder when you're looking at it, and I know some people were confused when they ordered it, but it is liquid. It's probably the most liquid foundation I've ever tried. It's like seriously, you know how liquid foundation is kind of thick? This is not thick at all. It's very thin, so. And it also came with this awesome blush bronzer highlighter duo thing. It's coming up a little light on camera, but if you look at it like this, this is kind of what it looks like. It's so pretty. I love it when all these colors are swirled together. Look at the packaging. Look how cute that is. 
I am obsessed with this set. Next in that QVC order, I also picked up the new perfume by Philosophy, and this is called Love Swept. Ooh, just bit. <laughs> this is called Love Swept, and it smells so amazing. It's so pretty for so pretty for spring. I love wearing it every day. Um, it's very light. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a less spicy version of the uh, Tory Burch perfume, but this is in. This is not an EDP, this is an eau de toilette, so it's not going to last as long as the Tory Burch, but it is so much more affordable and it smells so good and I just love it. My next product, I was in the market for a new gel liner. I've never tried a gel liner, so I asked on Twitter and a lot of my Twitter buddies said to try the Bobbi Brown one, so I picked it up and it just, you know, your standard pitch black gel liner. I'm actually wearing it today. I really like it. It's not as strong a look as, say, a, my part. it's not as strong a look as a regular liquid eyeliner, but I like this for every day. This is definitely my little buddy. So now this next product is new to me. I didn't actually purchase it. This actually belonged to my mom, and it is the beloved Lancome Tintidol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup with Sunscreen. Retouch Free Divine Perfection. Now, my mom and I are the same color, so we share foundations, and I was with her when she picked it up, and I was like, ooh, try it out, let me know. And clearly she has more mature skin than me, and she's also a lot less oily than me, and she felt like this dried her face out, so she told me I could have it. So I'm wearing it today, and I think it looks great on me, and I'm not overly oily, and this is like seriously amazing. Um, I used it with the Beauty Blender today, Blender today. I used it with my um, Sigma F80 brush before, and it's just really awesome, and I really, really like it for every day. It kind of compares to my CoverGirl 3-in-1, which is like my favorite drugstore, but I feel the CoverGirl has maybe a little bit more coverage than this, but I've got to play around with it to see how I like it, and I have been loving this, and it's completely full. Like, my mom doesn't wear makeup that often, or full face foundation that often, so got a full product for free. Okay. So, I don't know if you've noticed, I posted on my Instagram, and some of you really, really seem to like it, but NARS came out with a ton of shades of their multiples and now the multiples are you can use them as blushes like I have one on today you can use them on your lips like I've done today um, you can basically either multitask face products and that's what you know brought the NARS brand to superstar status in the beauty world and today this one is we'll start with the one I'm wearing this is called Exumas and it is on my cheeks it's on my lips I have it on with a little bit of this YSL Rouge Volette de Shine, and this is a coral color as well. So I just, this is kind of a darker color than this. So I have this on first, and then this is kind of tapped on top of it, and this is in number 14. But yeah, this is Exumas, and you will see more blog posts and three minute review about this, but it's a definitely orange coral type color, and it matches, it's kind of blending into me right now. But it's beautiful, it's so subtle, I love this look and this combo, this coral shirt, this coral lip, this coral cheeks for spring, and I'm really excited to have Exumas. And then the next color, if you're brown or if you're tan, you need this. You can see how bright it is. This is called Siam, and look at this. Look how gorgeous that is! I've heard it compared to um, NARS Exhibit A, which is like one of their really, really red blushes. This is gorgeous. If you have really dark skin, if you're brown, if you're tan, this is going to be so pretty on you. If you're complaining about um, powder blushes never really showing up on you, definitely try these cream ones. I mean, look at this. Like, Exumas, this is really pretty, subtle look, but Siam is like totally going for it. Um, all in there with you. I totally forgot to mention this with the rest of my Milani products, but I did end up picking up this Milani Eye Tech Perfection Liquid Liner, and it's got that ergonomic shape for you right there. You just kind of are supposed to do this. I'm not quite sure how to use this yet. It's so different from any eyeliner I have, so I'm kind of still trying to figure it out. So if you've been part of my channel for a while, you'll know how much I was freaking obsessed with the Laura Mercier Artist Palette for Eyes that came out back in October. I got it back in October. I don't think I posted about it until November. But you guys, 
there is a new artist palette for eyes out for those of you who missed it and it comes with extras but first let me talk about the palette um, yeah, this is the Artist Palette for Eyes. This is the Spring 2014 version. The only colors that repeat in this palette from the last palette are African Violet, which is my favorite, which is right here, and Guava, which is right here. Those two are the only shades that showed up in the one I had previously. So the majority of these are brand new shades to me, and African Violet, I already put a huge dent in my first one, so I'm really glad to have another. So. Yeah, I really love this. There's like a navy, and the top row is matte. Oh, in my three minute review, of course, they'll have there'll be better pictures, and so when I get around to reviewing this on my blog, I have so much to review, but there'll be better pictures then. And you see this top row is matte, and the bottom row is three lusters and then three sheen types. So basically shimmer is on the bottom, basically is what I'm trying to say. So there's this. And this time, the Artist Palette for Eyes also comes with a full-blown volume lash building mascara from Laura Mercier and one of her famous caviar sticks, which I'm really excited to try this little baby one out because I have never tried these before, but I hear people say that they are like the best cream shadows ever, so that is pretty awesome. It feels so silky and smooth on, and I haven't tried that yet, so I'll let you know how I like that then. But well, let's get to the kicker here. Last time, when it was just the palette, I paid $48 for the same size eyeshadows. This time around, the palette's the same size, the same number of eyeshadows, but it comes with the two extras, and the price is now $80. Now, I know I didn't, I didn't really think that the NARS palette was worth $80 to me because of the quality, but these Laura Mercier shadows are some of the best that I have ever, ever tried next to... There's a close competition with some of my new eyeshadows that I'm going to show you next, but these are seriously, seriously amazing, and I really think that $80 is a more suitable price point for this type of product. Um, I think $48 was really undervalued for her. Seriously, a card, this is a second video, you've done this to me, woo! But anyway, let's come to the pièce de résistance of my haul. Now, I have been wanting one of these quads for forever. Um, there have always been like my makeup lemming. So one day last week I was on my lunch break and I just walked into the mall and I was playing with them at the counter and this lady she just totally convinced me to buy them. So I did. So now I didn't buy just one though. I bought two of the Tom Ford eye quads. I'm not a few. Well this one is called Orchid Haze. And it's just, you know, some purpley tones. Like, they seriously feel so good. It's kind of ridiculous on here. And they're also very creamy, and they blend so beautifully. And there's that one, and it's just... Oh, it's so amazing. I can't even take it. Now, um... God, what did I do with that? Now, you'll, if you've been around for a while, you'll also know that I was not impressed with the Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. I didn't like that they came with that stinky foam tip applicator or whatever. I didn't like the quality for how much I paid for it, but these are like life changing. Like the last time my eyeshadow game was changed like this was when I discovered Laura Mercier eyeshadows. So now Tom Ford is like, they're so great. They're so, so great. What's also better is that if I'm paying this much for, these are actually still in the plastic, I don't know why, but whatever, for a quad, they should come with some really kick-ass applicators. So this one actually has like a brush. It's like actual brush hair in this little itty bitty baby compact size. And then it's got the regular applicator and they both say, you know, the Tom Ford logo on it. And then there's another one who's got the regular applicator again and then a little um, eyeliner applicator as well so seriously you can use this quad and my next quad I've been wearing it daily by the way oh yeah by the way if I didn't mention it I am wearing the new Laura Mercier eyeshadow artist palette for eyes today so there you go but yeah you can seriously travel with this this is all you need even these tiny little brushes like these are each $78 by the way if I didn't mention that either um, so yeah, here's it says Tom Ford, and you open it up, 
and this one is the cognac sable quad so this is like your perfect everyday shimmery that can also be way turned up into a sophisticated um nighttime look the orchid haze quad has one matte in it is the only matte in this shade and that quad and in cognac sable they all have a hint of shimmer in it so like let me do it on this hand let me swatch this one this is like the super glittery shade right here this is like your overcoat kind of I don't even know if you can see that but it's so seriously beautiful let's see can you see the sparkly overcoat I don't know maybe you can maybe you can't but I'll have better pictures when I review this quad <laughs> but yeah I've been wearing this every day and I just really love it well I've been I'm rotating out orchid haze and cognac stable and my Laura Mercier quad because you know I got a blog and I gotta talk about all these things. This is so pretty. Like you can do a really subtle daytime look and Tom Ford doesn't do overly shimmery eyeshadows. It's so sophisticated. It's so sophisticated. It's really like there's no fallout. It's just crazy with how um, shimmery this shade ends up being but I seriously am so in love and I'm so glad I got it. You know every once in a while I just got a splurge. I just have guys that's it I'm sorry I haven't done a haul video in such a long time but I typically don't ever buy enough to do a haul video and this is like a few weeks um, conglomeration but anyway um, let me know if you like these haul videos thumbs up if you want to see more I like them as kind of you know previews for what's coming up so you know I'm not trying to make you go spend a bajillion dollars at the store I'm just trying to share with you so you can get excited about some of these products to see what my thoughts are just, and you make your own decision about what you think is worth it. So leave me a comment down below tell me what your favorite thing was of my haul. You know, things that you want to see reviewed first or if you've been happy hauling lately tell me what you bought down below. Maybe I need to add it to my wish list. Um, subscribe to my channel. I put out videos weekly. I haven't really been sticking to the Tuesday guys. I'm sorry. But my next video will be a video about the new Tarte Colored Clay CC Primer. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.